Troll in the Dungeon! Greetings and welcome to another episode of Troll in the Dungeon. I am Steven Gosensky, Troll in the Dungeon, once again, joined by Brad Scary, um, editor as well as uh, temporary co-host for this uh, segment of the show. We're going to be uh, doing another retro review of Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, a.k.a. the worst film in the franchise, up to at least the point of 2005. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then Disney decided to make everything worse. Mm -hmm. So we've got... Oh, dear. I don't even know where to start with this film. Um, one, uh, main uh, complaint, they didn't kill Jar Jar at all. They actually, yeah. he's actually responsible for destroying the Republic. So if we, you know, iced yeah. it in the last yeah. movie, yeah. you know. We would have um, been fine. We, we wouldn't have had to worry about the Emperor or the Empire. No, None we, that we would have had other stuff. We would have been fine. We would have had other ways for him to do it, but yeah, just, oh dear. Just, it would have been more bearable without Jar Jar. Well, you know, the stoop. In my opinion. Yeah. Well, the stoop, uh, I'll, it, it just when a society allows the stupid run to run the country, uh, it, it goes straight to hell shortly mm -hmm. afterwards. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so we have Ewan McGregor leading mm -hmm. as Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm, mm -hmm. He did his best. He, yeah. he had to put the whole franchise on his shoulders against some very, for the most part, piss poor <laughs> co-stars. <clears throat> Mm. Yes. yes, like yeah. uh, Hayden Christensen is uh, uh, cast as the adult Anakin. <sighs> Why? He, he can't act. Now, to his credit, uh, I think Hayden has actually learned how to act since then. Um, yes. Because in his recent appearances in the Star Wars franchise, he's actually not been terrible. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe he I, grew I up. I thought he did pretty good in, in uh, Ahsoka. I, I haven't seen that far yet, but he wasn't actually I bad think in Obi-Wan. He was pretty good. He pretty was good, good in Obi-Wan. Yes. So, I mean, mm -hmm. he's not completely terrible. So, he can do it. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just because he had it. I think he did okay with what he was given. Uh, in my opinion. Oh. Uh, which obviously wasn't great to begin with, but you know. Yeah. You do, you do the best with what you can. I think it's a mix of that and having a, ter a, a director who does not know how to direct actors and mm. just just he doesn't have the skill set. And, and that's mm. sad because, um, I mean, he could have had an amazing career after the Star Wars mm -hmm. franchise and, well... He could have. What was the next film he did shortly after that ended? Jumper? And yeah. no one went and it, it didn't. It wasn't good. I saw that. I'm sorry. It was okay. Yeah. Not great, but okay. I fell asleep halfway <clears throat> through it. Um eh, didn't miss a whole lot. Okay. Just good. let me tell you. So uh Moving yeah, on. Yes. Yes. So this film and it, Natalie Portman was suffering from also having a really crappy co star and a bad director. Mm -hmm. And you would think that since George Lucas brought on a second writer for this film. It would be better. There was a second writer. There was. was there was a second. That, and, and, well, and there was, uh, I don't know if he wrote the story or the screenplay. Was it an amateur writer? I don't know. Oh, okay. Seems like it. It wasn't good. But that's my opinion. It wasn't good. WGA, what do you know? <laughs> um, yeah. So the, the film was just, uh, it's a train wreck. So, mm -hmm. let's go back to... Um, I mean, parts of, like, I thought some of the scenes with uh, Sam Jackson as Mace Windu were entertaining to watch. Okay, I have, a, so, I have an issue with one of the I didn't say it was great, but it was entertaining to watch. Yes, there's one so. scene with Samuel L. Jackson that could have, they could have fixed it. You would have ended up with a PG-13 ring, but he could have fixed it. When he goes, um, he has his lightsaber out, and he's like, this party's over. Master Windu, how pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. Just just drop no. the mf -er line. Just do it. Just do it. It would have made your movie a PG-13 <laughs> film, but 
It would have been, been way, way more entertaining. It would have been more, it, way better. It, it would have made you know the bile <laughs> of this film go down a, just a little bit better. And at the, the by that time of the film, I'm like begging for anything to make it better. Um, it would it would have been yes, it would have at been least that, at least that section of the movie better. Yes. Um, and of course. Lucasfilm, they just are like, oh, we have the giant CGI department. Let's use them. All the time! Too much. Use it All too much. All the time. I mean, I get there's some, like, space stuff you just can't do without CGI, but, like... Yeah. They used... They overused it. I have a question. Um, what mm -hmm. the hell is with Yoda's floaty chair? Uh, did he... Mean? Is that a miniature one from, like, the one Thanos uses in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The only matter I do not take seriously, boy, is you. So we got the floaty chair from Thanos, so mm -hmm. now we have Yoda's floaty chair. The Council is confident in its decision, Obi-Wan. The boy has exceptional skills. But he still has much to learn, Master. His abilities have made him, well... Arrogant. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're, they're, they mm. could be from the same manufacturer. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe they had to custom order it just for Yoda. Probably. Who knows? Yeah. The I mean, there is quite a size difference there between Thanos and Yoda. Yeah. There's quite a size yeah. difference, so like, yeah, not like one a, size fits all. Thing. Yeah, you have a Titan yeah. and then the Swamp Frog. <laughs> just, dear. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. So we've got all that. this, and then we have um, the next. So we have a couple of these things. We we have some interesting stuff. Uh, okay, the big thing, uh, the Yoda sword fight. <laughs> sure that mm -hmm. little frog is lying out of his ass <laughs> to get Jedi social security benefits. I mean, look at him! <laughs> he is pretty nimble in that scene, I'm not gonna lie. For someone who's who claims to be so old, he's pretty like Yeah, he's like agile and spry and uh, all this uh, stuff. Uh, I'm like, Whoa. And then uh, what after the fight, what does he do? Let's let's see. He gets the cane back, and then he's like, oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell is going like, on? It's like, you're so nimble and agile, and you're so fast around the whole, <coughs> the whole damn place during the fight, and then all of a sudden, oh, I'm going to slow down, and you're so old. Oh, no. What do I do? Help me. Like, just, just no, man. Just pick one or the other. Like, are you old, or are you... Like, come on, just pick one. We still don't know. We we still don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Do they ever actually say what his actual age is in any of the Star Wars movies, or are they just like, in, oh, he he acts old, so he must be old. What sort of in thing? Return of the Jedi? Let's uh -huh. watch that clip. When nine hundred years old, you reach look as good you are not. Hmm? Yeah, he said at 100, 900 years, you reach. Uh, um, mm. So, okay. he has a lot. Okay. His race has a very long lifespan. Yeah. Um, and they actually address that in Mandalorian. A short time for you is a lifetime for someone else. There you go. There so, we've go. got all of these. Uh, so, we've got Yoda. We've got... Um, the planet of Kamino, which is a, uh, mm -hmm. a cloning planet that apparently rains all the time. Must They must have modeled it after Seattle, Washington. I mean, clearly. Yeah. So, uh, loads of fun there. Mm -hmm. We got Jango Fett, 
who was supposed to be uh, uh, Boba Fett's, you know, clone dad, and there was this whole big deal that he was going to be in. They actually made a whole video game about Jango Fett before this movie came out. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to be the greatest bounty hunter, and he, he's there for like maybe an hour of screen time. Mm -hmm. okay. And all he does is just show up and, and, and then get shoots people. And shoots a couple of people. He does shoot a, je a Jedi down, which is pretty mm -hmm. impressive. And then he gets ice by Mace Windu. Yeah. And uh, Daniel Logan plays young Boba Fett. Um, mm -hmm. He actually reprised his role in Clone Wars. He um, mm. plays the character again, and then he's uh, and he's appeared in a few other things, but he's not. Uh, I don't think he's as super active in the acting world as he used to be. Yeah. So. Um, so we get to see the origin of Jen. Of Boba Fett mm -hmm. um, there, and we get the clones, and uh, mm -hmm. um, we still, and I mean, they have outside of, you know, the movie canon explanations of why the stormtroopers are not all the clone troopers, that mm -hmm. they're, they're different types, they have different templates, mm -hmm. so it's kind of bizarre, so it's like, oh, are all of them the stormtroopers Jango Fett clones, or what? And they explain it in a couple of games and books and such, but they don't really do it in the movie canon, which was, I think, kind of stupid. Um, mm -hmm. So, we got that. Um, so, it's like, this whole film is like all build up. It doesn't really, mm -hmm. it has this little crescendo with a blast battle, but it's mm -hmm. just, the movie is terribly slow. It, mm -hmm. yeah. it just takes way too damn long. Of explaining, I mean, we got cyber crime and oh, uh, yes, and we've got you know some cool effects and such, and all this political intrigue and a haphazard, really badly thrown together love story. I could have written a better one when I was fourteen. Mm. Um, about when the, uh, I wasn't quite fourteen when this came out. I was about thirteen, but still, mm. it's bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that really helped you? You know, you're like, there is somewhat the legacy of Star Wars in this. There's a little bit. <laughs> um, I think there's a lot of bad stuff to come through. Oh, uh, let's see. Anything good? I thought some of the, some of the stuff with near the end with. Um, R2 and C-3PO was, was entertaining, especially when um, uh, C-3PO's head was on the battle droid's body and vice versa. I thought that was entertaining. Yeah, that part was funny, but just yeah. the, the, I, I thought the joke just yeah. lasted way too long. Yeah. This is like, oh, okay, ironic. and then... They could have cut that time in like half. Ooh. It would have been, still would have been funny. It would have been a lot better. Been fine. Honestly, yeah. it would have been mm -hmm. better. But no, mm -hmm. I, I agree that parts of that were funny, but then they yeah. had the, they just kept, there's one part. Kept it going too long. They kept the joke yeah. going for way too long. Now where are you taking me? This is such a drag. So we've got R2 dragging C-3PO's head through the, <laughs> oh, this is such a drag. Who the hell thought that was a good line? Apparently the writers. But, uh, Both of them, get, I, get I, out of here. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm serious. I'm serious. I, like I said I, in the last video, yeah. I'm pretty sure the old man's past his prime then. Imagine mm. what he would be like now if he was writing Star Wars. Although, it might be a I little mean, bit better. Better than the sequels, though. I mean, uh, as I said, I, don't it'll, think so. I was about to say, it might be a little bit better than the dreck we've been served the past few years. Well, and don't even get me started on the latest person who's supposedly going to be directing a Star Wars Focus, movie. Steve. Focus. Oh, she's Just terrible. It'll be fine. Just focus. Uh, but, so we've got all these, and then we had, um, let's, let's take a look here. We've got some of these guys who are actually, um, and of course Samuel L. Jackson's trying his best. Mm -hmm. um, and the problem is, it's not the body of actors as a whole that's terrible, it just mm -hmm. has these... You have these two people who are, you know, leads in your film. They're billed second and third, who just can't act worth a damn. Mm. And it's it's making your movie suffer. And it's so sad, because I actually, 
the thing is, we love this. We're both big nerds. We, we love this franchise. We grew up with it. And it's just so sad to see how terrible these movies are. Because mm -hmm. you know, there was such hope um, mm -hmm. for these films because we hadn't had a Star Wars movie. They were, they were this huge cultural phenomenon in the 70s and the 80s. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, we're finally going to see a Star Wars movie. And, you know, you know. A new Star Wars, yay! And then and a movie then, happens. And then uh, we're like... Went from yay to, oh, okay. And, and they still made money. They made tons of money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else that you can think um, of? You want good things or bad things? Yes. I think 90% of the movie is bad things, so that's not hard. Um, to be, I mean, if we're being perfectly honest here, I mean, it's yeah. Um, from an editing and like technical style of things, um, for the most part, the editing isn't terrible. There were some things that could have been better improved upon to make the movie, I wouldn't say great because I don't think anything can make that film great, but better, more, mm. more, enjoy tolerable. more enjoyable, more, yeah, more tolerable, you know. <laughs> um, um, I thought some of the music choices were good. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think for the most part, the music and the overall Star Wars series is is good. Um, even the movies that shall not be named <coughs> sequels. Um, but you know, the editing's pretty good in my opinion, as an editor. <clears throat> um, so there's that as a good point. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I <Yeah>. found one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two? I found two. <laughs> see, the editing and the music. Woo. Yeah, see the thing is, <laughs> as a writer, you're just, I'm just looking at I'm like, they, mm -hmm. I don't know if George is just incapable of this or what, but he can, it seems he never knows how to bookend a scene. He can start one, but mm -hmm. he can't end it well. It's always mm -hmm. these awkward cuts to other scenes. Yeah. And it's, 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 some very, of the, it's some of the timing of the cuts that bothers me. Yeah, it doesn't you make know, sense. It's like, like, it could happen. In the more. middle of a scene, it's like, oh, let's cut to another thing. I'm uh, like, what? What is this? Just, no, get, just, Wait, like, one more second to finish? No? Okay. Yeah, it was very... I guess they ran out of paper in the collection printer. I, I, I guess. Don't, I don't know. No, I no, don't... No. I, I wish I could tell you, but I, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a writer. So I was chatting with a mutual friend uh, last night, and we were watching the, the trailer for this movie, and we both came to a consensus that... They could have cut this, easily could have cut this down to like an hour and it still would have been fine. It would have been, it would have made sense. It, it, it honestly probably would have made the movie better if it cut down from like, what, two and a half hours, something, half somewhere hours. out there to like one hour and it would have been, it would have been just fine. In fact, it might have been better. That but, probably would have been you know, better. We 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 didn't write this, unfortunately. Because uh, I would I would be you know even if they cut down the script to like ninety pages, I would have been up in the editing room like, oh, this is taking too damn long. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you would have, Steve. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm usually you probably would have been copious notes. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I'm copious copious notes. <laughs> Uh, whenever uh, I'm working on films, I Jeez. feel sorry for my editor. She's I'm like, rah, 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 rah. Um, save me, save me. <laughs> but he that's knows what I'm talking about. It's yeah, crazy. I'm. I, he knows I, I'm joking. Uh, fine. The, 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 the joke. I actually was called Mr. Anal on a set. Oh well. Which oh, really? they're not wrong. 
Um, <laughs> no, I'm sure they're not. No, they're <clears throat> not. Um, turns out I was right most of the time, too. Anyway. <sighs> Ugh, that was We're on a tangent for Father. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but overall, this film's not good. It could have been better. And, and it's frustrating because we're, as I said, we're in a franchise that we both love very dearly. Hell, I'm wearing Star Wars socks right now. Yeah. So, yeah, my, yeah we're, we're, we're friends. We are we're fans, fans of this yes. franchise. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the film just kind of, eh. And it's a shame. And I really hope that we get to... Um, and it's a shame because of this legacy of Star Wars and it just kind of swan dives. Starting yeah. in 99 and actually continues for the most part to this day. And then occasionally we get a bright spot like Mandalorian or Ahsoka or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and then it's like breathing life and it's like resuscitating a dead pig, sadly. But it's like <laughs> it's resuscitating yeah. it briefly and it's like, oh, yay, the Star Wars is great. And no, I'm not talking about the nostalgia that J.J. Abrams lives on because yeah. the guy can't make a movie. Um that's all he does is live on nostalgia. So, if we could make, if we could actually, you know, do something good, then it would be good for the franchise. But you know, mm -hmm. what do I know? So, yeah. But um, speaking of Star Wars, we do have Star Wars shirts in our collection over at T Public at Kasinski Geekery. Check that out. I'll have the link in the description for this video. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll be back again for Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, where it's a little bit better, but at least it ties things somewhat together. In the meantime, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. All right. In the meantime, be bold, be brave, be courageous, and at least R2 is with us. Yay, R2.